Hey, welcome back live from Highline Community College. It's time for another Truling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We're joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. And how old are you now? Nine. Nine-year-old Isaac Excel is funner. Our problem today, the kids in West Seattle Montessori fourth grade class need a multiplication table. Isaac, show us what you've got. All right. So everybody's too lazy to do math problems nowadays. Because we all got our smartphones and all that stuff. So we're just going to quickly type one, one and two. two. We're going to highlight both of them. We're going to make an angry rabbit, a.k.a. plus sign. Uh, and then we're going to go to 12 for now, but then I'll show you how to do it a different way and get every single answer. One, two. And then you got to go like that again, do it sideways. Highlight it, and then go all the way to M if you're doing 12. And then you're going to go do equals up arrow. You're going to press F4. You can hold this down, make hair brown letters, but yes, I got it on the right one. So <laughs> you gotta, you got to take... F4 roulette. <laughs> Merry-go-round. Yep. <laughs> You got to take, um, you got to make sure it's in the right place. So, you got to make the one. Remember, this is the first digit. Well, not, no, if you go into negative numbers, I guess it's not. But, a dollar sign goes in front of a number for the first one. And then, you got to press times, t a time symbol. And that means, well, times. In school, we use this. <laughs> no, not that. No. And then you got to go A2, or you could press it, left arrow. And then you got to do the merry-go-round until you get to, not that, this. All right. And then we got to do control, control, enter, and it shows up as one. Yeah. Yeah, I know you could just type that, but this is what where the stuff gets mad. I'm going to double click this and this happens. Yeah, cuz I just blew your mind. Woo! All right. And then I'm going to show you how to do it awesomely. One. Give me a second. 2 All right. This is how we go to 100, fellas. What letter is the hundredth letter? Um, let me see. Uh, CW. That's actually what I said earlier. Wow, how'd you know that? He looked at the tooltip. <laughs> oh, yeah. He saw that in a great video from Excel is Fun. <laughs> oh, gosh, I went way over. All right. Well, it's around here. 101. So, we got to go right here. Got to do the same thing. Equals B1, F4, F4, and then do A2. And then you got to do the merry-go-round until you get to that. Press Control One. Enter, and you have to drag it all the way over here until you get to 100. And check that out. All right. That, that's awesome. No, <laughs> that's a lot of multiplying. <laughs> Woo! All nice. right. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Well, hey, you know, I got a story to tell you. My kids, when my kids got to multiplication table, I taught them how to use Excel to make their homework go away, right? They would get their homework done in 10 minutes. Of course, mom was at the grocery store or something like that. All right, but math homework went really, really good. They got A's on all their math homework. And then when we got to the test... It was really bad because they didn't have Excel on the test. <laughs> the teacher called me they in. didn't have Excel on the test. <laughs> they weren't taking a class from me. <laughs> oh, that's it. Clearly, they didn't have you. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the number one there. I'm going to hold down the control key, though. That, that way I don't have to put in the two and the three and the four. And we'll go over to column M to get the numbers one through 12. I'm going to copy that and do Alt-E-S-E, -E, Edit, Paste, Special, Transpose. Make those go down the side. Woo! All right. And instead of the great formula that Isaac put in, we are going to do, I'm going to select the whole range, the whole multiplication table. I'm going to put one single formula in. 
So it's equal M MALT stands for matrix multiplication. Array one and array two. The first array is this array over here, comma. Second array is this array over here. Close paren to make the whole thing work. Control shift and enter. Bam! There it is. Let's even add a little bit of conditional formatting so we can see those color scales as the. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Weird. That right. is amazing. Sell is fun. Let's see what you've got. Woo! Wow. I I'm going to have to do that. that. What's that called? Conditional formatting? That is too cool. Hey, I'm going to come down here. I'm actually going to have a, a start number. So I'm going to say start <laughs> one and the increment. And we're going to um, uh, make the table totally adjustable, right? So I'm going to start up here equals that one right there. And I'm actually going to lock it in all directions. And the next form is going to be, hey, look, one cell above plus the increment locked F4, Two. control enter. And I'm going to copy it down. And it looks like I got 12. Now I'm going to copy these. And I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy Mr. Excel. I'm going to come up here. These are formulas. I'm going to right click and go to transpose. And boom, those formulas actually transposed. Now I'm going to highlight the whole inside. And I'm just going to do an array form. I'm copying Mr. Excel, but without the mult, right? So Control Shift down arrow, times up arrow, Control Shift right arrow, and then Control Shift and Enter. Ooh. Now, because we've linked these factors 1 to 12, 1 to 12 down here, if I simply change this to 2 as the starting number, boom, everything updates. The increment is 2. Now I have a multiplication just for 2s. Control Z, Z, multiplication tables. That's a lot of fun. Blue Woo! Line for that one. All right. Well, there you go. This is our uh, true number 6, right? Yeah. Or Dueling Excel podcast number 1. 74. That's coming up next. Oh, all right. Join us next time for another truling, dueling, truling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. Excel is fun, Aran. Excel is fun. All right.